Today I have our guest and speaker for the event, Stefano Delorto, who is the Director of Business Support for Immobility at Vattenfall in Sweden. So, good day Stefano, thank you very much for joining me today. Good afternoon Jan, and thank you for the opportunity. Super. So just to get a bit of a better idea of what you will be presenting and the importance of it, I just wanted to ask you three quick questions and to give audience a bit of a better idea of what they can expect at such a conference. So just the first question on your presentation, if you may please uh, describe a bit on what you will be presenting at this event. Yeah, I think, it, uh, I mean, if we look at the mobility industry, the uh, development pace is really uh, breathtaking. I mean, in, in just a if you look you know, a few years ago, uh, you could see that uh, the topic was range excited. You know, 40, 50 k in my in my battery, can I make it home? And I really need to charge. You know, when I'm at work, I want to be able to go home. Now we have uh, you know uh, 500 plus kilometers in the battery. Business models are appearing, uh, but also the OEMs, the car manufacturers, are taking over with new standards like guys of 15 and 8. Then uh, we're really looking at a big, big change in the in the value chain and the role of the different players. So. What I will look at is you know, how does the value chain look like? What are the different changes happening in, in the market? And uh, what might be new business model or new scenarios? So it will be a, hopefully also a very interactive discussion with, with people uh, in the audience like we had last year in, uh, when we were physically present in, in you know, the shaping of the industry. Right, and then on that topic, uh, do you see what would be the importance of this topic for, for 2021, going into 2021, just to elaborate a bit on what you've mentioned? I think we already see, you know, uh, car models like the Porsche Taycan, but also the Leaf Mini with the ISO 5118 already installed. So uh, if you have, you know, a, a very advanced uh, fast chargers, like, uh, you know, some of the on the market, like the Tritone, you know, you can really see that you know the role of the traditional MSP it, it's really not needed anymore. I mean, uh, you used to use the app for find the station and then for start and stop the session. Now you have a beautiful uh, entertainment system in a car with a screen which is then then your phone. And once you come, you plug and charge. So this really calls for 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 uh, rethinking a bit of the models. All right, and then to see a bit um, with Vattenfall and the role of Vattenfall in the development of the charging infrastructure in Sweden, and what you will see, uh, what can we expect to see um, in the next year, and what would kind of be, you think, uh, main challenges going forward for the development in Sweden for e-mobility? And fossil free one generation is not only, let's say, a slogan, but it's really a mantra and, and, and what's drive our life at Vattenfall. So we really are committed to helping our customers uh, be fossil free one generation. And the, the car industry is actually one of the, say, uh, the places where you can really make a difference. So by having the largest infrastructure in, in, in Sweden, by having uh, all the, actually been more than 10 years in this industry, we have a true commitment in, in making uh, uh, fossil fuel driving, you know, uh, very affordable, very accessible and, and um, borderless driving. That's what we really want to help our customers do in, you know, in a fossil fuel way. Thank you then very much. And I look forward to hearing your presentation. Yeah, thank you very much and see you in a couple of weeks.